Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the Durafly Ugly Stick version 2. In this video, we are going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at all the parts and pieces. We're going to do a little bench testing. And then at the end, we're going to wrap things up with our pros and cons. Coming up next, we're going to see what's going on inside the box. All right, guys, here is a look at everything individually wrapped. And I had to call this out specifically because not every manufacturer does this. And to me, that is a very big thing because it keeps everything protected. So good on Hobby King for that. Coming up next, we're going to see everything out of the plastic. All right, guys, this is what it looks like without any plastic on it, of course. And this finish is really nice. I am digging this finish and the blue is certainly growing on me and nice big wide landing gear. So that is good. And this fuse is actually pretty cool. So we've got that open space right there and we've got this tab right here. So have a look in there. Easy access. Very cool. And then when you flip it over like so, there's another tab down here and that is your battery bay, I believe. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, of course. And there you go. All right, guys, when you see this next, it will be all assembled. All right, guys, it is all built and I've got the everything set up. Really, it's other than dialing in the CG, this thing is pretty much ready set to go let's do a gentle throttle got the nice big wood prop that is awesome guys i'm gonna flip this around so we can look at it from another angle okay so here's another look i've got a hundred percent rates on my ailerons can't really see the elevator going Definitely see that rudder and almost spool up the prop. What the heck? Let's spool up the prop again. Should be far enough away from the camera. Oh yeah, that looks and sounds so good. All right, guys, this is our final angle. As you can see, we have a steerable tail wheel. Nice elevator action there. If I can do it directly straight up and down, that would be awesome. There we go. Good job, GB. And we've got 100% throws on all of our control surfaces. And between now and when I fly it, I am going to adjust those slightly, tune those up. Same thing with the center of gravity. And coming up next, we're going to look inside the battery bay. All right, guys, here's a look at the battery bay. We have a magnetic hatch on that with a nice tab so you can grab that. You can also grab it from the sides if you want to. Here is a look inside the battery bay itself. Uh, the recommended battery, I will have the links in the description for both the plane and the recommended battery. And uh, I have not tuned this position yet for the center of gravity, but of course I'll do that uh, before the flight. And uh, that's where I've got it sitting right now. I can move it back if I need to. I can move it a touch forward of two if I need to. So very cool. This is a really nice plane, guys. And coming up next, we are going to do our pros and cons. All right, guys, we are going to do our pros and cons and wrap this thing up. As far as the pros go, the finish is really nice on this, guys. This blue... The foam, it looks great. It really does look great. The wood prop also looks incredibly cool. It's got a nice finish, seems to be balanced nicely. I am really excited to fly this thing just to see that wood prop spinning at full throttle. That's gonna be awesome. It has robust landing gear. I cannot wait to take off and land at a variety of places. That's always a good thing. This also has a steerable tail wheel and 
it's a four channel plane. So you've got the full experience with ailerons, elevator, and rudder, which is very, very nice. As far as the cons go, overall, I really like this plane, but the manual was simplified. That's a pro, but it kind of left you to fill in some of the blanks um, and lean on your experience a little bit to get that thing done. Um, someone that's flying this plane is probably not going to be a beginner anyhow, so that's really not a major con, but I still wanted to point that out, guys. The other con is the battery bay could be better suited for the recommended battery. It's not bad, but it could be better. It could be a little more spacious. Um, the way that the ESC sits in there could be a little bit better too, but I'm just nitpicking. I always have to reach for the cons, and that's what we've got there. I've got links in the description, guys, for the battery, um, everything that comes with this thing, including the tools that I use to build this, which are incredible. I've got a really nice Hobby King tool set, multiple tool sets that made this thing, um, assembling this thing, very, very easy. So check those out. With all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.